Hi, I'm Siri with Passages of Distinction, founder and CEO, and uh, I'm here today with Eric Rubin, the owner and founder of Sire Travel, an affiliate of Zelle, uh, to do our first uh, COVID Heroes interview. And um, so I just want to say that I've known Eric for uh, so long. I think you were about 22 when I first met you, uh, and I knew you'd be a success. And here you are. Uh, so um, during this time of crisis, uh, we have learned and always known, as we're such supporters of the travel industry, that um, a great advisor is exactly what you need right now to help with um, guidance and expert advice uh, and service, of course, especially during a time such as this. And so I thought we would uh, have Eric on today to tell us all about an amazing rescue operation that he's been involved with recently. And so Eric, why don't you take that away? Thank you, Sari. I, yes, we've known each other for 21 years. I don't know how that's possible, but it is. And thank you for having me. You're one of my favorite hoteliers um, and any hotel or destination management company you represent, we will lovingly sell knowing that you're behind the scenes. So thank you. And thank um, you. Yeah, I do a mix of corporate travel and a lot of meetings and um, groups and honeymoons and all sorts of stuff. But um, on the corporate side of things, you know, we tell our clients all the time that if something goes wrong, we're always there. Whether that's something, you know, simple as a snowstorm or rainstorm or something more dire as this. So I have one account that's in the intelligence field and they, um, they're a US based company with a large office in Abu Dhabi. So um, about you know, six weeks ago, we had a phone call on a Thursday afternoon at three o'clock, you know, they should be asleep by now, saying that we just heard that the Abu Dhabi airport's gonna close within 48 hours. We need to repatriate all 45 of our on the ground staff. So it was literally an all hands on deck moment with me and my staff. We had all of the names, we knew where everyone was going to and between 3.15 and you know 5.15 p.m. that day, we got all 45 people home just to buy them conquer. And it wasn't just, you know, from point A to point B, 45 people were going to 45 different destinations. And no sooner did we finalize the ticket that a lot of the domestic carriers started adjusting their schedules. So we had to add hotels and cars and trains and, um, you know, it was like going to war, but we got all 45 people home um, before the country shut down. And, um, you know, we, I could tell clients all day long that we're there for them, but this was a moment where we were there, no fuss, no muss, got everyone home. That's really amazing. And I have to say, I mean, you know, I have experienced the excellence with which you work and um, uh, you're the kind of uh, person uh, people should want to work with because, you do really take such great care of your clients. And so um, I understand you also had a honeymoon couple, that Esther had a honeymoon couple that um, uh, had a little bit of an issue that you had to get out as well. <laughs> yes, <coughs> excuse me. So Esther Klein, my rising star um, and main honeymoon agent, we had uh, some clients um, in Thailand and they were actually doing a multi-country honeymoon and Thailand was the first stop and then they were ultimately going to Bali. And um, we got an email, the equivalent of 2 a.m. our client's time, saying that Bali was restricting all visas upon arrival. Um, and we also knew that most of the flights from Thailand back to the U.S. were sold out. So um, without our clients knowing, we literally had to cancel all of their reservations for Bali and rework them to get home from Thailand all while they were sleeping. So even though we tried calling them, they wouldn't answer their phone because it was 2 a.m. So when they finally woke up at 6 a.m., they had all these voicemails from us saying, you know, you can't get to Bali, you need to kind of get out of Thailand and come back. And we had everything done for them, so all they had to do was pack. So while they were devastated, they couldn't continue their honeymoon. Um, had we not jumped in, everything would have been sold out. So in just a you know, three or four hour period, they really would have been stuck. And our Singapore Airlines rep, you know, worked miracles for us to get our clients um, home without any fees and getting them in business class and getting mm -hmm. miracles happen. So that was uh, one of our honeymoon rescue stories, mostly thanks to Esther Klein on my team. Well, these are both amazing stories and I am very proud of you because uh, you. you've done so well. And um, 
Thank you for being one of our COVID heroes. My pleasure, and um, I'm happy to do this anytime. Well, we hope to travel with together <laughs> soon. Yes, right? we need a good fam trip. Back to India. We'll work Back on to India with Travelscope. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I so, still have my Ganesha right here. So. There you go. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Well, yes. thank you so much. Yes. Eric. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye. See you.